Hey guys, welcome to another Bitter Butter Render tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to get this unique lighting trick inside of Blender. <laughs> So usually when you use lights in Blender, you have a few options, point, sun, spot, and area. However, you're still limited in terms of the appearance of those lights. Here's what I mean. You can only have one color at a time, right? Which you can obviously switch and transition between. But imagine this, taking an image, applying it onto the light, so you get all these cool patterns and textures, which then you can obviously light your render with. Then you can now create all these cool looking stuff, just like the ones I made for my render. Here's what I mean. Okay, so I've set up a simple scene inside of Blender. The first thing you're going to want to do is change the render engine from EV to Cycles. That just works best with this projection-like lighting. And then you're going to click Shift A, add a light, and specifically the spotlight. That best simulates a projector. Once we've done that, if you go to the render preview, you can see that it's just a white light. Now, we want to add an image, right? So we're going to go into the shading tab and click Use Nodes. Once we've done that, you can see that there's two nodes, Emission and Light Output. Make sure to enable the Node Wrangler add-on, which is already built into Blender, just need to enable it. And then click on the Emission node and click Control t And that should add this trio of nodes. It starts with the Texture Coordinate, a Mapping node, and an Image Texture. Over here in the Image Texture is we're going to add the actual image that we want. I'll link the one I'm using in the description below. Once you've had that open, it's very dim, so I'm just going to change the power to something a lot higher, like 120. And let's go to the top view and change our spot size a lot higher so we can actually see what's going on. And there are a few issues that we need to first address and change. The texture coordinate, we're going to first change it to normal, to vector. And there is a reason behind this, but as you can see, that obviously deforms our actual look and there's one issue it's tiling itself right we can easily fix that by changing the repeat to clip in our image texture now once we've done that obviously the image shift to one corner and we can change that by changing the location x and y to 0 0.5 and that pretty much centers our image but this was a square image with like proper 90 degree angles but obviously this is deformed into some pillow like shape right there's actually a simple fix to that. We we'll just drag out the texture coordinate and we're gonna add in two nodes. One separate XYZ, plug in the normal to the vector, and then a mix color node. We're gonna change the mix to divide in this case, plug in the Z value to B, and over here back in the normal, we're gonna plug that into the A value, and obviously the result into vector. And it looks more distorted, right? But all we need to do is change the factor all the way to one. And there you go. You've gotten this perfect square image projection. Now, once we've done that, obviously change your spotlight back to something like 45. Just gives you a smooth outlook. And then the blend also, you know, smooths out the edges. I just go with the max value of one so that it looks like a projector. And now it's all up to you to alter the settings, the values, and see what suits your scene the best. And that's it for today's tutorial. Make sure to hit that like button, notification button, and to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.